<laughs> oh, yay. I love the music. Yeah, we're playing oh, a, this game makes me so happy. We are playing a Slytherin girl. Well, she is. She's I'm playing. playing. I, I just sit back and watch. And comment. <laughs> Talk like snake. <laughs> You're here to make me laugh. Entertain. <laughs> <laughs> even on the battlefield. <laughs> Can love bloom even on the battlefield? <laughs> I've had the best love on the battlefield. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spell crafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Did you of know it is that in the Hogwarts or the Harry Potter universe, is where they cannot conjure food in. out of nothing? The they can only duplicate and it or you alter could soon it. Impress okay. Even Professor Weasley. That certainly it's not like Star Trek where you Mr. microwave Brown. your food into existence. To that day. Right. And I too <laughs> see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, and it's let's extremely get the rare to be able to to a have table to be powerful enough to conjure station. metal. Yes. I believe hmm. so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able and to you grow your gold. own ingredients and brew what you want when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Take all the free things. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Take your time. We have all day. <laughs> Just kidding. Seriously, take your time. Oh, I do. Rebellion. I like to collect things. You will reveal you everything. Yes. Enchanted Staircase. This enchanted staircase in Tomes and Scrolls reveals itself when a particular book is moved. The proprietor here, Thomas Brown, sells a variety of written product products, including spellcrafts, handy for conjuration. I didn't realize that England was so diverse in 1900. <laughs> I actually thought that too, but I didn't know if it would be polite to say. How dare you? <laughs> you dig it. Like we have people of every race represented. Like in uh, Resident Evil 5 where there's like random Asian and Hispanic dudes in the middle of Africa. And yep. blonde girls. Yep. It is a video game. It is, you know, it's make-believe. That's true. We're not going for realism here. Nope. Well, hello there. Well, hello there. Well, hello there. Me, I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I Dittany take it is that's very you, important. Merlin's baby. Used for healing. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing Will it help to treat my syphilis? Big adventure. You know, oh, I don't no, know about that. You usually um, smash it into a paste Names and then Timothy rub it on the wound. Mm. I don't know if you'd want to rub that shot. on the wound. The <laughs> I keep the cart out here because I like a good well, If you get the clap, you can just get two Can't books and just smack it. Smack it together. I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. I'll keep it in your pants. Grow everything myself. My speciality. Next time you think of, you know. Right. Pippin purchases from me. But what we'll say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Whenever um, Harry and Ron and Hermione were hunting Horcruxes and fresh. Ron accidentally splinched himself because he was apparating and like part of his you body got around. left behind. Um, luckily, interest, Hermione yeah. had some Dittany in her magic purse. Oh, nice. The Magic Neep Cart. This cart belongs to Timothy Teasdale, who runs the Magic Neep. He enjoys being in the thick of things and engaging with customers outside the shop. This game looks so good. Oh, I know. Yeah. Was this an Unreal Engine game? I don't know. 
everything is nowadays. We need Jay Pippins. Let me see. Yeah, Unreal 4. Everything's made in Unreal or Unity. There's not much in between. Mm. Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins. Don't mind if I do. The Capcom has their own engine, though. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. And so does when I Kojima. Heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. They used Decima Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I not don't Fox? believe I've seen not your face no. here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade. The same actually. one as, um... Is it really? Well, Paddy Horizon Pippin Zero Dawn. Mm. They gave them the engine. this is J. Nice. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Mm. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? I love the green. It may not be as showy as love my outfit. Make no mistake. Yeah. They His pendant, the fleur de lis, we saw it You'll everywhere in Louisiana. Enough. Yeah. As it's your first time in, we did. I should mention that it's Maybe not just from recipes I sell. Maybe. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. And I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? You smoke too much, What puppy. can I do for you today? <laughs> Of a took. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. I don't see the man being French. He's Irish. Yeah, it's true. He just likes it, I guess. I guess he just likes that flower. J. Pippin's Potions. Established in 1753 is the apothecary in Hogsmeade where proprietor Perry Pippins sells a wide variety of potions and their ingredients. We are officially caught up to when you made your character yesterday, and then we changed our mind and decided I would play instead. <laughs> yeah, this is more your thing. <laughs> I was getting impatient and just like... I want like, to collect everything, and you were in a rush. You didn't even care about your wand. I really was. I was like, whatever. Like, I don't care. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I was role playing a true Hufflepuff, even though I was in Gryffindor that time. I beat my Hufflepuff, and I feel satisfied in my life. That's how I feel there for MGS5 as well. I 100%ed I, I it, and I never wanted to play it again. I really hope you do, though. I feel like I've seen everything. I've done everything. Yeah. There's nothing left for it to offer. But it was so good. Within, I loved watching with you With MGS3, I'm still seeing new things in that game to this day. Well, I'm sure you'll see new things in Next 5 as well. Next time we play, yeah. Well, 5, not really. 5, there's not much story. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. <laughs> oh. This has happened a lot in Hogsmeade. <laughs> a random troll. But see, everyone here knows magic. Or should. Mm-hmm. Because it's a magical village. It's the only one in England. Draw it away from the building! Away from the village! <laughs> Your hair looks more auburn than brown. I like it. I was not expecting a quick time event. That's my first one. Well, there actually is a lot of quick time events if you think about it. You have to press triangle to parry and stuff. I guess, I guess you can call that a quick time event. 
too early. Too horny too soon. <laughs> Why does magic only respond to Latin? <laughs> They keep showing up red. Yes, press circle. Oh. My bad. Goofy I was butt. pressing triangle and I'm like, it no worky. He just runs me over. I'm the Hufflepuff over here trying to tell you <laughs> Slytherin what to do. <laughs> what kind of universe is this? Oops, I A rolled fringo. like into him. <laughs> yeah, don't roll into him, you silly goose. Ooh. Nicely done. Better pop those hills. You're learning the hard way, I aren't you? I'm not good at dip, duck, and dodge. Apparently. I never had to do this <laughs> um, when I played on story mode. On story mode, you didn't have to do anything. Uh-uh. You probably one-shot him. There you go. Well, no, but... You remember when I was fighting on a normal round? It, it was like every... It was a struggle. Trying to pick up barrels and dodge and... It feels fun, though. It is fun. You can press R1 on that stuff. Yeah, yeah. There you go. How come are they making the two students fight this guy? Oh, uh, he was the second one, remember? Oh, the they one They took left. the other one. They didn't know there was going to be two. Oh, crap. Yellow that was a yellow one. Yellow that triangle. one was triangle. Yeah. You can dodge too, if you dodge the right way. There we go. You just got, you, yeah, you, just got, you just gotta get a feel for it. Yeah. It's like you're playing Dark Souls, right? You just gotta get good. You gotta get good. You gotta get good. Hey, well, I didn't die. Whoa. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I yeah. suppose so. It was nothing. <laughs> it's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. You can't roller skate in a buffalo herd. Unharmed, That's right. Perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where <laughs> they Johnny were. Johnny Knoxville did. Of course, Officer. <laughs> Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you. I love those again. movies so much. They're like... Me too. One of my all-time favorite series. <laughs> Revenia. Prepare. Oh, Go and see what he wants. One last thing for Officer Singer to worry. And I guess we're gonna fix your town too. Yeah, might as well. Hen guest of Woodcroft. This statue is of the Hufflepuff Hengist Hufflepuff. of Woodcroft, believed to be the founder of the village of Hogsmeade, after having been driven from his home by Muggle per persecutors. Repair. Trying to say prosecutors? <laughs> I almost did. <laughs> This probably happens a lot in Hogsmeade, really, if you think about it. It's so close to the dark forest. Mm-hmm. Honeydukes. Honeydukes Sweet Shop sells a variety of magical sweets, from fizzing whiz bees to exploding bonbons. Customers would be wise to know precisely what effect they may experience before sampling this shop's wares. Mm-hmm. That's especially true if you go to the Weasley shop. Hmm. I've always said that travel broadens Her the shop mind. looks fun. <laughs> Revelia. They have their puking pastels that'll make you throw up if you want to get out of class. <laughs> Prepare. Ah, 
<laughs> Sounds fun in theory, but you know, Revenia. not sure that's worth it. Uh, no. Repair. And they had some kind of nougat that makes your nose bleed. Our daughter can do that without any oh, yeah. potions. Our middle child, she has a <laughs> constant nosebleeds. I mean, I mean nosebleed like. I mean, she's bleeding pints of blood. Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm surprised she didn't get like pass out. Oh yeah. Repair. Lucky they didn't do more. One more. Revelio. Glad rags wizard wear. Founded in 1750 and with locations in Paris, London, and Hogsmeade, Glad Rags offers a variety of wizarding garments and accessories. Mr. Augustus Hill and his associate, Otto Dibble, happily help all those who wander into the shop, enjoying in particular the challenge of the customer with less fashion sense than most. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to call the bag over. <laughs> you have a light desert scarf. Rebellion. There was a book flying in the air. Repair. There it is. Yeah. Ooh, legendary gloves. <laughs> you have a long ways to go. Oh, yes. defense not cold enough for a scarf <laughs> I only wear a scarf in the winter well there you go you have to role play on my full playthrough I wear robes the entire game <laughs> Mr. Hill was just singing your praises Pavilion. glad rags mannequin Unlike the enchanted mannequins favored by students for dueling practice, the mannequins at Gladrag serve only as a means to display the latest in wizarding fashion. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself. His Augustus hairstyle. Augustus Hill, clothier extraordinaire. <laughs> I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an order of Merlin. <laughs> but I could offer you something... Kind of has a Wolverine look going on. Yes. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. <laughs> uh, now, now, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I know how to equip gear. <laughs> Been doing this for a while. I don't know if you can turn off tutorials or not. Some tutorials that we actually might need. It's because it's been like a year since I've played. Right. Almost exactly a year. Came out in March, I think. That white mask is like eyes wide shut. Mm-hmm. Kind of creepy. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say <laughs> that I agree with you. Perfect. Three broomsticks is just this way. 
I sell even more battle-worthy items, should you be inclined. You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. And steal your things. <laughs> <laughs> do monsters level up with you in this game or do they stay static? I think they stay static, I think. Not 100%. Let me see. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. Rebellion. The enemies have level caps per area. One area they might have uh, 10 to 20, so they scale with you till 20, then they stop. Okay. So you could be level 25 to 40 and fight level 20 enemies there. Once you hit 20-ish something, unlock talents, traits, and multiple spell slots, you're set. Cool. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your People distraction. People are complaining about it. Why? The game punishes you. Sounds like a good child. idea. The game punishes you for exploring because you get too high level and it makes the game harder. All you need to know is that if you mm. cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Let's go. I found confirmation that gear does indeed scale with your level, so. and get this, the guide also warns you not to explore Rookwood. too much early on, as you'll find a lot of gear and chests that will be 100% irrelevant a couple of hours ahead. Profit. Aww. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. So pretty much just follow the main scenario and do side quests that they pop open. It punishes you for exploring. By level 20, I completely stopped going out of my way for chests. If it was locked chests or if it was full, I just skipped it. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. It's my first time here. Welcome. It's ma'am. Butterbeer's on me. <laughs> Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thank you for this. My pleasure. I will say... <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <laughs> <laughs> Those guys. <laughs> Our timeline. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ovenous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. What's your back? Look at him for a worse than any child you might encounter. Oh, and what? And what? What are you not telling me? I'm sorry. It's perhaps best I do. I couldn't resist. <laughs> the most unexpected. <laughs> you were looking at me like, what is he doing over there? I was pull up Aerosmith song. <laughs> was ringing for a second and I was like that's weird you switched to an Aerosmith ringtone you've had Convoy for years is it really and relevant then, to that scene but then it was very relevant <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't resist oh my god 
gosh, that was perfect. <laughs> I'm certainly glad Serona was there. <laughs> Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Hollow. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack. Yeah, we are playing Slytherins. Already. That's right. To risk we're role playing. Yes. For getting back after hours. And we're very judgy. This <laughs> <laughs> is a joke. Come on. <laughs> no, I mean Slytherins would be very judgy. Oh yeah. They are. I'm just a Hufflepuff. I just make fun of everything and everyone. <laughs> I hate everyone equally. Besides you. I love you. You better. <laughs> <laughs> One of our neighboring towns just got evacuated for a wildfire. I saw that. It was, I can see it in the horizon. Which town was it? Leaf Force. Oh no. Well, that's not good. You just applied for a job there, so it might not be a town there after all. <laughs> I'm joking. That's mean. Rebellion. The whole town got evacuated? Mm hmm. They told everyone to come to Pampa to the uh, rodeo grounds. I received mail. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. I think the fire will come all the way over here. I hope not. Because the whole day I've had a bad feeling. Me too. I've had in insane anxiety today. Like, yeah, bad. I've been super like stressed and anxious today too. The last thing I want is a freaking fire burning the whole town down. Right. You are hauling ass. Revenia. Yeah, people said do not go for the legendary chest until level 20. Because <laughs> <laughs> the legendary, it would be like, once you level once, the legendary gear is like useless. It is kind of strange. Like if Final Fantasy VIII has that problem, and so does um, Oblivion. Mm-hmm. Where things scale with you. Eight was the worst. Eight was the worst. If you level up and, and too much, it makes the game stupid hard. Yep. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really surprised after Final Fantasy VIII, all the black backlash it got. Oblivion's like, well, we can do it better, and like, no one liked it. No. I remember a crab kicking my ass like it was like a super tank, like a super boss. A crab. Uh huh. <laughs> I couldn't kill it. Yep. <laughs> um, I remember accident, like I jumped everywhere and swam everywhere, uh, and I remember accidentally yep. like leveling up my character yep. with acrobatics. Yep, that will get you. Rebellion. So if you don't have any battle stuff, you're screwed. Cool game and great music, but terrible battle system. Revelio. Revelio. So if I cast Revelio, will you take your clothes off? <laughs> Revelio. <laughs> it depends. <laughs> Never works for me, man. Never. <laughs> but that depends. <laughs> Only works on muggles. <laughs> Ooh. A corkscrew. Handle. Nice. 
Ooh, I like it. Very nice. Yeah, it was like crazily, crazy windy. It is super windy out there. Hey, can you toss, toss me my blanket? I'm getting cold. Wow, that was a <laughs> wimpy toss. No wonder our girl gets her... She gets her uh, athletic abilities from me. Jeez, no kidding. <laughs> We watched our daughter play tennis and bless her heart, just could not hit the ball. Uh, she is doing much, much better. Rebellion. Well, A for effort. I guess it won't let me get the demi guys yet. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I, you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow, like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. Did the I trolls stutter? were Ranrock's distraction <laughs> so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons at the Three Broomsticks not right, Her eyes are purple, but only in certain <laughs> lighting. Indeed. It if really Ranrock's is purple, see? And dark wizards Sometimes. Are you, <laughs> they want what we found in that vault. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library, the restricted section to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Mm -hmm. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But, sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. <laughs> Perhaps we are only after a book. But we should be prepared for anything. Yeah, well, Tom Once Riddle's diary was just a book. you've magic further, come and see me. Also a part of his soul. Mm -hmm. I'll let Professor Hecate know Almost killed Ginny and Harry. Professor Fig, as if my schedule wasn't congested enough, the Ministry has charged me with arranging the rather inconvenient arrival of a new student at Hogwarts, a fifth year if you can believe. Professor Weasley insists that they will need an escort and a mentor to help them acclimatize before term begins. I have assigned the task to you. Please see Professor Weasley for details. Professor Phineas Nigellus Black, Headmaster. He doesn't do much, does he? Mm, just delegates. <laughs> That's where you want to be in life. Yes. Weren't you supposed to go down? Nope. Boy, can you help me? Yeah, you're supposed to go down. Hello. Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Slight respite <laughs> from battling the odd troll, I should think. Oh my gosh, everyone Asked already knows about that. I thought she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. <laughs> I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Following a Hogwarts treasure map? Count me in. <laughs> Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Very nice. 
Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. I think I did all of his mm -hmm. side quests. I did all of them. Pretty sure, yeah, I did all of them. Every side quest in the game. Yep, me too. You must learn the fire-making charm to continue this story. wonder how I do that. Hmm. I thought you learned all your uh, spells throughout just doing the storyline stuff. That's what I thought. Maybe if I talk to her, I'll figure it out. That's kind of weird. Revelia. I wonder if we missed something somewhere. Let me see. You have to head back to Professor Hecat to learn. I don't think I'm ready for this it's just yet. Oh, okay. Is that him right there? No, that's Professor Fig. Oh, okay. Yeah, go back to go back to what's his face. So Hecat is in Defense Against the Dark Arts. Yeah. Found the right tower. You must win two rounds of cross wands to complete a round of spell combination training with Luke and Brat Brattleby. Both of these can be done by talking to Luke and Brattleby in the clock tower courtyard. I think you have to do those first before she gives it to you. Okay. You have what? to complete the locked secrets. The locket secrets. Have you done that one? Yes. And this assignment will immediately be available. Players must win two rounds of cross wands and complete a round of spell commission training with Luke and Brattleby. Surprise is not showing up in the map. I know. It's kind of wanting you to explore on your own, I guess. I guess so. I don't remember having that problem when I first played. No, me neither. I thought it was pretty much straightforward. You just kind of follow where the hell the things tell you to go. Maybe I explored more and didn't have any issues. Maybe. Well, I was wanting to explore, but then you were saying really did not to. Let's just do the other quest I have. Cross wands. You have to do both of those. There's two of them you have to do. There we go. And assignment one. Let's do that one first. Yeah, assignment one's probably we'll give it to you. We well, said I have to do this first. I think so. It says you have to do both. All right. Well, let's so just maybe do it. not. It, the assignment one showed up. It did. Oh maybe, well. Maybe cross wands is fun. We'll do this, and then I'll do her assignment. A lot of boys play cross wands when they're younger. <laughs> it's normal. You have to explore yourself, you know. Right. The Well of Four Beasts, 
Some students believe that a wish made over the well of four beasts, whether near the Thestral, Griffin, Chimera, or Hippogriff, will come true for the one who has gained the trust of any of the four. So really, if you're Can I help you? a little lost, do the slide missions Sebastian and you should get back on track. Sounds club. good. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones, a dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. <laughs> I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does crossed ones work exactly? You show up. I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. <laughs> Besides, in crossed ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along. Or jewel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Let's do this. <laughs> Let the fireworks begin. We'll make you regret signing up. Ooh. Mm. Eventually, get enough yellow spells where you just keep on going. But now you only have one. Yeah. <laughs> there goes my way. I wonder if a lot of kids die uh -huh. down here. <laughs> nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. <laughs> I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. Okay, now... Yeah, now you report the... Report to Hackett. Okay, cool. Now you're good. When in doubt, do side missions. Yep. You can't just do main story only. Revelio. <laughs> Random scream. <laughs> it's Peeves. <laughs> Wee. He's tormenting people. He's a menace. Yes. You're going to make me late. If I was a student here, I'd always be so annoyed when Peeves comes by. Yes. Like, oh god, it's Peeves. Was he mentioned in the first book? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, he's in all of them. Revelio. I bet they're funny to read about. Oh, they are. Hmm. Huh. Rhinoceros skeleton. Is a red baron scary? Track. Uh, the Bloody Baron? Bloody Baron. Yes. He's the only one that Peeves is scared of. Sad predicament. He has a whole backstory, too, that's um, talked about in the very last book. That's cool. What makes him so scary? Well, he's got blood all over him from <laughs> <laughs> a duel. 
I believe we have some matters to discuss. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Th Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and setting enemies on fire, mm -hmm. <laughs> defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Like a flamethrower. Sounds right. versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. Of course you do. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Ones all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? Definitely. I'm ready. <laughs> Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get to it. <laughs> we didn't even ask him first, but I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> I'm sure he's cool with it. <laughs> Apologies in advance. Three on two, huh? I'm not sure Lumos is gonna help right here. No, that was the wrong spell. Remember purple on purple. I know, I was trying to get that girl in the air first. There you go. There's a way to target them. I don't know if it's like rice stick in or something. Oh, you need to heal. I never lost at all in story mode. This is actually rather difficult. It's time to get good. Need to learn to press triangle and stuff, and it's there. You go. You'll get the hang of it. I promise. Oh, you got defeated. Aww, that's my first time I ever lost. Glad I didn't bet on you that round. Catch the ball again. <laughs> It's time to get good. I'll give it another go. Glad to hear it. Yeah, it was a target L L3? Is that what it was? I, I didn't read the tooltip fast enough. I was telling you to lock on the characters, that way you can hit the right buttons. Did you see what I said? Um, one second. Can't talk right now. <laughs> well, if you locked on, I think it'd really help you. There you go. I use those R1s almost like every time. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you're not. Okay, I can do it again. I think the problem is you're not parrying enough. Care to go again? I'll give it another go. Glad Fine. to hear it. I'll get my ass kicked again. <laughs> yeah, lock Target lock R3. R3. Okay. Yeah, that's what it was. See, I was right. You just don't listen to me. That's cool. Oh, 
Rolling around helps too. Well, it sucks that there's three on one. Yeah, but it happens a lot in this game. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes there's a whole army against you. Once you get the parry button down, you're like, you're golden. You thought I was joking the other day when I said that you'll get tired of pressing R2. That kid's kicking her ass. Dang it! I did press triangle. Ugh. Okay. I believe That's you. That's how I got two Can out of three. Go again? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it another go. Got to hear it. Maybe deal with Hector first. He's kind of a badass. You know what I mean now? Finger gets tired. <laughs> yes. You can heal. There you go. Goodness. You mean try? Sure. Can you go again? Hold on. I'll give it to him. Well, let me do it. Got to hear it. Maybe I should have chosen you. My bad. It's not letting me control. Damn it. Oh, thank you. I'll choose your controller. I should have hit your name and not mine. Yeah. God, so your controller's so warm. Buddy partner. Why is your controller so warm? Because my hands are warm. Not Reparo. <laughs> Reparo. <laughs> Come on. You gotta roll around, yo. Pretend you're playing Dark Souls. <laughs> Did duck and dodge. Damn right. Hey, don't do that, bitch. <laughs> Let him go. <laughs> Suck on that. <laughs> nice. Not ready yet. <laughs> Act like a winner. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Nice. Thank you. I have to show you how it's done. <laughs> I have to show you how to get good. Well, Bro, since I went from story I mode all the way to you normal mode, I might have to like bring it down do to easy. No, no, no. You, you can do it. You just gotta round, roll around more. <laughs> You'd better keep practicing if you, you want to get good winning. <laughs> or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. Hope to see you again. The next round is for I don't mind jumping in and helping you. I like the battle system. Okay, good. It's the running around collecting shit that I hate. I've never liked that in any game. See, that's the stuff I like the best. <laughs> Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> I like how you jumped. You'll get it. Teaching you combos. Mm-hmm. That's it. And that's really the secret too. Once you get the hang of like memorize the combos, you're you're golden. Nicely done. My beef of the game is that you spam R2 too much. I wish you just hold it down or something. Yeah. Good one. I'd say that's enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Luca. <laughs> I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Assignment's all finished. I am cold, man. Me too. Turn the air conditioner up too loud or high and not loud? <laughs> too loud. Too low? No. It's on 68 like it always is. Well, that was fine until you got home. <laughs> well, yeah. When I got home, it was 74 in here and I was like, uh, no. It felt fine. <laughs> felt good to me. Revelio. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you and that you found success in your endeavors. Did you get fire? No, I'm fixing to. Hybridian Black Skeleton. This large dragon skeleton hangs in the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom is allegedly a trophy taken by Professor Hecate after she single-handedly defeated one of the largest poaching rings in Eastern Wales during the Great Poacher Raid of 1878. Yeah, she said that. <laughs> I was paying attention. Me too. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hecate. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's <laughs> to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far. But please, maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your What's up with all of her eyes steady. in the background, those little eye things like staring? I know, I was wondering that too. Fire, fire. <laughs> Good work. Go. I've set up a few targets for you. Are you allowed to make multiple tool, toolbars yet? I don't, I don't know, know if I can do that yet. Incendio. I don't remember having like three or four of them. Maybe just three. Getting it. Keep at it. And do try not to incinerate yourself. Hmm. Already did this. What's it? Yeah, the tutorial wouldn't go away. Oh. Setting things ablaze is certainly cathartic, isn't it? It sure is fun. Incendio. That'd be my funnest spell, setting things on fire. <laughs> you didn't touch. Some kind soul help me. Oh, okay. Back to Fig. Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Hmm. I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. That's kind of you. I suppose there are a few decent souls here. 
I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the oh, her gobstones. Room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. <laughs> <laughs> gobstones? Is that in the book? Sounds like a yeah. fun challenge. Ron That's played it a I lot. I tried to tell oh. everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible <laughs> as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. <sighs> Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I don't think a true Slytherin would want to help her. Probably not, no time. but that's okay. <laughs> it's a get lost weirdo, you filthy half-blood. <laughs> Um, British, they say cachet. I don't think they do. They say cachet. Are you sure? Because I thought they said cash. Ah. Say cachet. Right, my British friends. <laughs> Hey Siri, how does uh -huh. the how does the British say cash? You can translate into British English and many other languages and translate. Thanks a lot. That's not what my question was. <laughs> that was useless. She's useful like five percent of the time. Right. Maybe you're thinking of... Cachet's different, though. Something different. It's like a military yeah. term, right? Well, and... Hello, I don't, sir. I don't know. You'll be pleased to know that I, I worked on my defensive thing. magic with Professor it was. Hackett. So I hear she tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So... Shall we the proceed? word cash is widely mispronounced in both Fig? in and out of the military. It should rhyme with sash, Come. not sachet. Right. So I guess we've been saying cash. So I guess <laughs> in my military shows, they've been saying cachet wrong. <laughs> Probably. I think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager like to make people call the car my office, Porsche, five minutes. but it's really Porsche. Well, it's a French word, so. <laughs> that man is exhausted. So it is Porsche. Yes. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But Professor, we Porsche. have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. To find a closer way to Sebastian. Sometimes walking is faster than just loading the screen. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Lovely painting. <laughs> Sebastian, there you are. There you are. 
You promised me an explanation for what happened in the Three Broomsticks. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? Seems he's working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Ranrock? And when were you at Gringotts? Professor Fig and I ended up there after the dragon attack. It's quite the tale. Fig had this port key. A port key? To Gringotts? I'm not sure I follow. <laughs> I barely follow myself, and I was there. Anyway, we ended up in an ancient vault where we found a map. That map leads to the restricted section. You can't be serious. Deadly serious. Professor Fig has insisted that I not tell a soul about any of this. I've probably said too much. Understood. Your secret's safe with me. Whatever it is. Thank you, Sebastian. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight and tell no one. Hmm. What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. <laughs> Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us. Yeah. How concerned should I be about the librarian? Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. Yeah, if she he sees a student out of bed at night, he'll like go running well, and screaming through the halls. Her. Students out of bed, students so out of bed. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Just a tattletale. Just a tattletale. <laughs> I'll meet you later. <laughs> <laughs> I bet the kids hated that about him. Yes. I guess Felch liked him then. No, because he always made messes that Filch had to clean up. Oh, uh, so he's like good <laughs> and bad. Yeah. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold Real on big now. Boss. That's right. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light, just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean, I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. You distract, I get the key. Understood. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. This game. Oh. Have you tried, you know, getting good? <laughs> <laughs> snake is being mean. <laughs> That's not nice, Snake. Is someone there? Is that you, Peeves? Good. 
gracious mess. <laughs> Peace is watching. Be careful. <laughs> Thanks, Snake. I remember doing this mission. I thought it was further along than this. Maybe I was like really, really just running around exploring. Doing all the side quests. That wasn't so difficult. I want to do them all. I'm just now, um to find that book. Trying to like spread them out. We've already done it. Yeah. This is more of a story run. Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say. Ghost, don't let her see you. What do those books do to you? Hopefully it checkpointed after I got the key. I hope so. It did. We must remain unseen. Ghost, don't let her see you. <laughs> Should be in the clip. No need for us to be skulking about. Revelio. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think you'll find a cure in the restricted section? Enchanted books. Enchantment. Best to avoid these books if possible. Do not so much as their tendency to fly from one's hands as to their content as to their content being spectacular drivel of no educational value whatsoever. Children <laughs> <laughs> have nothing that can help Anne. No, we've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to Saint Mongo's. But I can research on Rebellion. my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. Hogwarts really is the best game. Truly the best. Oh, thanks, Trump. <laughs> um, I saw where someone used AI, yeah. um, like that fake you or whatever, yeah. with Tucker Carlson and had him read out loud the first Lord of the Rings book. Like the whole book? I think so. That took some dedication. Yeah. <laughs> I've done some weird things with uh, fake you with like, um, like Solid Snake and stuff, but I never would do a whole book. <laughs> Good Lord. How many pages are on Lord of the Rings? A lot. <laughs> Who have we here? Oh no, it's Peeps. It's Solo and his new little friend. Out exploring where they shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. <laughs> don't, don't. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted peeves. 
I got to stop him. He actually he worked with, with a good Fred and George on a few pranks, though. Oh, really? Yeah, he he kind of admired them. Wait, I don't want you to get into trouble yeah. for me. I have a way they were pranksters too. When it comes to disciplinary matters. The swamp Besides, that they made on the fifth floor like was legendary. Who were in oh, my dad. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now. They made it like right outside Umbridge's office, so that to. she had to like be thrown across oh. the swamp to get to her office. To wow. <laughs> this armor. Let's see how Tucker sounds. My favorite thing to do in Hogwarts is to blow stuff up with far. Oh my gosh, that's really good. With far. <laughs> This is really good. Prepare. Revelia. My favorite spell is Reparo. <laughs> really, Tucker, your favorite spell is Reparo? <laughs> That's nice. Sounds like so legit. It's crazy. Yeah, it's weird, huh? Of course. Traces of ancient magic. There must be more to this room. Revelio. That is cool. It's not a tumor. Not a tumor. <laughs> not a tumor. <laughs> not a tumor. Where might this lead? He said chopper wrong. He did say chopper wrong. I bet I know how to do it. Yes, it chop. Uh. Oh yeah, like a h. Chop, chopper, get to the chopper now. Get to the chopper now, predator. <laughs> predator. <laughs> get to the chopper. Your husband's getting distracted over here. I noticed. This mission's boring. <laughs> <laughs> Not surprising. Guards at the ready. Get to the chop. Now, Predator. Hey, it's Sylvester. <laughs> I thought it was Predator. Get to the chopper. I know. I did it backwards. Oh. Dyslexic moment. I'm very dyslexic if you didn't know. <laughs> Love you. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. I hope you're pleased with yourselves. You could all have been killed, or worse, expelled. Now, if you don't mind, 
I'm going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Potter, I mean, is, is as read by Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes. <laughs> It makes for a funny Harry Potter audio um, book. Yes. The Harry the Harry Potter book. I wonder the whole Harry Potter book and Arnold Schwarzenegger's Arnold. voice. That that would take a long time. It would. You have like to, the dedication, because you can't like. Yeah. I mean, you have to type it yourself unless you could somehow find a you PDF. Can do, you can say it out loud and do it that way. You're a little scary sometimes. You know that. Brilliant. But scary. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Ron. Ron. One one. Keep my wits about me. Are probably the hardest things you fight in the game when you fight a dark wizard. Oh, yeah. As you found out in the duels, you have to really try hard. Why isn't there a healing magic spell? There is. In the game? Uh, I don't know about the game, though. of them. Like they're skating in a buffalo herd. <laughs> Equip bear gear with better stats. Did I have any? I don't think so. I didn't have any gear with better stats. Oh, I did. Yeah. Up eight defense. If you have a mind to, Or making it worse. <laughs> I don't see how that could help anybody. <laughs> need my help. Do you need my help assistance? Do you need my help assistance? Do you need my help assistance? <laughs> um, yes, I need my assistant. You need you need help and assistant. Oh. Let me let me see. How do I undo my controller? This one? There we go. I undid my controller. <laughs> Let's redo my controller. I'm you, and you're me. Wait. Oh, now I can't control my controller at all. Really? You, yes. can't, you can't do it at the same time? Well, I think you have to set it up a certain way. Well, that's just lame -o. <sighs> We'll figure it out. I don't want to use your controller. Your controller's all warm and sweaty and gross. Oh, it's not gross. <laughs> You're gross. You're gross. <laughs> I might not do any better than you. I am not used to playing on normal mode. I know, I don't think I died once what we should like, do, in my playthrough. What we should do to make the more is we take turns if we die. That works. Well, besides story, I don't want to play the whole game. Just like, 
If, if we die during if combat, yeah, take yeah, turns. Yeah. That's a good idea. Oh, I need to start dodging. I'm playing too much like Dark Souls. You need to really use that triangle move. You gotta Accio that bitch. <laughs> and repair him. <laughs> no. See, I, I never put non-combat <laughs> spells in the hotbar because I don't want him on accident. Usually. You have no health? No. Um, as, like, after this mission, I was going to go to Hogsmeade and buy some potions. <laughs> I'm about to die already. We need potions bad. Yeah. Yeah, dodge. Oh, cool. Look at that. Nice. Have you done that yet? Yeah. I did it against the troll. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, one more turn oh, since shit, too. That was a too. bad death. Oh, am I alive? I'm still alive. Oh. She can fall to her death, and it's okay. Can't roll her skate in a buffalo herd. Dodge. We're gonna get that ancient magic and you can use it against that guy. Oh, Where? it disappeared. It was on the ground. It doesn't last very long. No. It sure is nice to use. Awesome. And fun. Okay, roller skate and a buffalo herd. <laughs> I did it. Good job, babe. Are right, you take control again? How do we how do we set up um like that? That seems awfully backwards. You know, on the Apple, on the Apple, you can just share controllers and buddy controller and it works really well. I think there is a buddy controller option though. There is. I just forgot how. Me too. Well, we're almost done for the night anyways. Hey Siri. <laughs> how do you set up a, how do you set up a buddy controller on PS5? I found this on the web. I don't want to watch a YouTube video on it. M1, video game under PlayStation 5. So this is very easy to do. Let's go up to settings and then go on down to accessibilities. Right here, the second option down. Then we want to go to controllers and then go to the right and go to use second controller for assistance. Uh, this says okay. use a second controller as an assist controller That's to let you and another person use two controllers as if they were a single controller. There. This feature is only available using a DualSense wireless controller, a DualSense Edge wireless controller, or a supported third-party PS5 controller. Does that so works? let's select this and then simply turn this on. Yeah, did it work? Um, is your controller on? No. You turned it off. How did I turn your controller off? Assign controller. That's a sign assist. See, you're good now. Cool. Now, 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 now we're both. Now me. we're buddies. Buddy. <laughs> See, now we actually can co-op now. Yes. You fell miserably, and I come in and be the hero. That's right. Can't roller skate in a buffalo herd. <laughs> okay, that's really loud. <laughs> <laughs> no more clapping for you. <laughs> no, more cl no more clapping. <sighs> <sighs> but you could be happy if you've a man too. <laughs> now you gotta do is do it, do it, do it. <laughs> do it, do it, do it. <laughs>
You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. I like Isadora. You understand it's a pretty that name. you are adjusting mm -hmm. well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. Oh, just happened, like me. I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic. Was that a yawn? Are you bored? No, no just a long, long, Hogwarts long day at work. <laughs> of mm, Not magic. bored. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Hold on, I'm gonna tweet it. <laughs> I'm gonna exit. I'm gonna exit. <laughs> Put it on TikTok. Ew. Ew. Sebastian. Yeah, one of my students asked me the other day, Hey, miss, do you make TikToks? I'm like, ew. <laughs> no. I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. What's up with your goofy jacket? I'm afraid I must take I this like to my the goofy headmaster. jacket. Ugh. But that being said, you have to, you have to wear robes, man. For role playing. You didn't come alone tonight. Ugh. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, he's a good friend. Oh, Sebastian. I love how Peeves is like not What's see through like other ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it for tonight? Yeah, let me just run to Hogsmeade and see. And see what? If I can buy potions. Oh. What's this? Probably a quest that starts at a certain time of day. Probably. I think you can, you can craft them. You can once you have a room. Yeah. Oh, it's nighttime. Okay, he's not going to be open. Going a long way around, huh? <laughs> Guess you can't go that way. <laughs> I'm used to Final Fantasy 14 where you can just jump everywhere and you'll you'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? Trying to find the entrance. <laughs> there it is. Welcome. Oh, he is still Do you open. let me know if I can be of any He's assistance? He's open 24 hours a day. Maybe that's, that's expensive. Is that is that the health? Is that the, the, the number, the green one? No. No? There's weak and weld. It's 100 each though. Ooh. A wise decision. Jesus. Thank you. I 
hope to see you again. Farewell for now. You're gonna have to find them like yourself. Mm-hmm. Without having to buy them. You're gonna be broke a lot. Yeah, right? I'm pretty sure you get to craft them soon though. There you go. Better. You gotta wear your robes. Not that silly jacket. Come on. What are you thinking? Well, at the time, I was thinking, I really, really need to put on the gear that has more defense. <laughs> but glamour. In the middle of combat? In the middle of combat, yeah. <laughs> High stakes. <laughs> Glamouring. Well, that's it for tonight. Thanks for watching. If you made it all the way through, then, you know, God help your soul. <laughs> Thank you. I have a weird sense of humor. <laughs> and she dies a lot. <laughs> <laughs>